they killed thousands of blacks. Planned Parenthood has killed millions, 19 million. Nobody's having a conversation about that. The black, and this is important, this is important because the media gets us obsessed with this idea of white supremacy and the history of the KKK. Thousands of blacks were killed by the KKK. And, and by the way, so were white Republicans and we were killed by white Democrats, which is why I'm adamantly opposed to Democrats. But nobody wants to have a conversation about what's really killing black America. But uh, number but, one. But black males are probably the most people in prison. So you can't say nothing's being done about it. Oh, it well, first and, for, first and foremost, what are they locking us up for? Are they locking us up because we're black? No, you just said we commit the most crimes. And no, no, murders. no, no, but I'm asking you a question. Are they locking us up because we're black? I never said that. I never said that. Oh, okay, so I'm just, I'm just saying to you that the reason why we, we're, we're locked up the most is because we're committing the most crimes. We have to fix our communities. It's a real conversation that black Americans need to have, and I try to do that with the Blexit movement when I target our communities to have these conversations. The idea that white supremacy is a thing that's stopping black America is a complete and utter myth. Okay, and until we're, that, until we're willing either, to have... Though. I never said that either. I just whoa, whoa, whoa. She's not I'm saying not you said I'm that. I'm not saying you did. I haven't accused you of saying anything. I'm just saying what I'm actually saying. That's, right. that's it, okay? The number one issue facing our community is father absence. Father absence, I okay? I disagree, but okay. Excuse me? I disagree, but okay. Okay, well, you, want, you said you, you brought up the prisons, right? If you grow up without a father in the home, you're 20 times more likely to end up behind bars. You want to know who I got that from? President Barack Obama. You talk, talk about the stats of what it does when you destroy right, the black family. The, is the destruction another, of the black have, family, have, um, if you want to talk... Oh, wait, I'm not done. The destruction of the black family happened because of Democrats and what they did in the 1960s, I agree, I agree. LBJ and his great society act in the welfare system. We can talk about all of those things. The very last thing we should be talking about, if I had to make a list of 100 things that's really screwing up the black community, white supremacy wouldn't make the list. But I wasn't even asking about the black community. I was just saying, you said America wasn't a racist nation. It's not. <laughs> they, it's not. All right, so yeah. look. It's not. The, black, the black Panthers were all locked up and killed by the government. Are, are the Black Panthers here but today? I, I, what I'm saying, the KKK has been around for since how long? And what has the government done for anything? To well, you think the KKK is alive KKK? today? Yes, of course. Well, oh, my well, gosh. Okay, well, okay, well, find me one. Wait, wait, I want to be one. You're saying the KKK doesn't exist Now we have a debate. Hey, hey, wait. Now we have a debate. So I'm, have I'm, you ever I'm, met I'm, one? I'm asking you, what are you saying well about? the KKK doesn't exist at all? What uh, oh, happened? What, I, I'm going to ask you What did the government do to erase them? What did the government do to erase the KKK? How can you say that? You have to slow down. I can't understand what you're saying. What did you That's say? That's crazy to me. How, but how can you say the KKK does not exist? Today? Well, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. Where are they? What do you What's, mean? Where are they? they where could, do they meet? They could be judges. I just they thought could this is a really big story. And CNN should cover it. Where is the KKK? It's an ideology. No, can you name anywhere. a leader? Can no, you name a gathering is, who, point? Anything? Who's the leader? Where are they meeting? In what country? In what city? I don't ask me where. I'm not going nowhere near. where Because they aren't. Because they don't. They literally live in the media's head. I've never. Have you ever seen a KKK member in a hood? I'm asking you a serious question. So you're saying the KKK does not exist? All right, come down. No, 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 come down, come down. I, 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 I'm dying to see this because I have asked every journalist that brings this up since Charlottesville to tell me where the KKK meets. So, in Houston, Texas, there was an event through a, predom through a predominantly black neighborhood known as Acres Homes that was protected by the police and that was, they were escorted through a black community. So that's the issue. That, so they do exist. They are there. And they're protected by the police. Yes. Protected. They okay. Should, okay. So I'm, I'm asking you a serious question. As a black American, you fear the you fear the I'm KKK. I don't fear any. I don't fear any. Okay. okay. So, so, so you that's saw. Not, that's where I agree with y'all. Look, I, I am from one. Well, parish no, 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 no. We're not doing. We're not doing three on one. You can. You can have a time. You can have a time when you get to the mic. I'm asking you a serious question. Okay. Of all the things that is going on in the black community, you cannot look me in the face and tell me that you really think that the rise of the KKK is a real thing. But I won't I'm not believe looking that. At the, I'm looking at America, not really the black community. Like. And I'm, I'm another, shocked, I'm shocked to hear, you said you've never seen a KK member, you said that there was one in Texas, what, what year was it? Um, it was around the time, around 2008, just before. 2000 and what? I graduated high school in 2008, in Acres Homes from Carter. And they were walking yeah. down the street in hoods. Yeah, that was an event. It was a Georgia, they huge... They still have events. Well, I, I think, I think we're losing Good. the KKK. Yeah, well, well, let's not lose the focus. Yeah, that's fine. I, I will definitely look it up. I will look up the Texas event, the KKK walk, but the point that I was making, maybe, maybe they did meet once, however, 10 years ago. And you're in your town, and I'll definitely look into it because I always want to educate myself. But the point is, is that neither of you can look me in the face and tell me that you think that the KKK is a real threat to the black community. But it's how, it's just not how true. when they could be a judge or a oh. doctor or a you know. No, what but saying? but the issue or here is how, no one's denying that there are individual racists racist in this country. In a country. I said America a is judge, not a racist country. So you know how, it's not. How, if they're not a racist country, how have they done nothing to, to persecute KKK members? Like what? David Duke. David Duke is a known KKK. But, yes, so David leader. Duke endorsed a Democrat running for president this okay, cycle. I, I just have to endorsed. say that. I, 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 I can't speak for the LGBT community, but as you've said, David Cameron was the one that introduced the gay marriage bill to parliament and pushed it through. But that's...
people have different opinions on these things. I think they're entirely entitled to them. But that's different to saying LGBT rights and saying that LGBT people should be discriminated against. That's a completely separate issue to saying about the marriage. But I think that this is what I say that is actually done purposely because you hear people like David Lammy, Diane Abbott, they will go and pick out holes and say, oh, the Conservative Party's done this in the past, has done this in the past, is doing this, or the reason you can't get into Oxford is because you're a black boy, or the reason that actually you're the one, you're being controlled by white males, and that's why it's dominating your society. However, when you look at things, you kind of think, well, there's racism in your own party, so take the log out of your own eye. There's 24% of white working class boys, only 24% of white working class boys got A start, A to C, a GCSE in the last year. So when you compare that and you think, are they really, why do we have to play this game of who's worse off? Okay, you're black, so you've got this, and you're gay, and you've got this. So that's 50 points worse off for you. Okay, but you're white, and even though you're struggling in a poor area, because you're white, you're 42 points worse off. So I'm going to target you and pit you against each other. What we're saying is you might not agree with us. You might not come over and vote conservative. But let's remove this whole identity policy and say, okay, because you're gay, you have to vote a certain way. Because you're black, you vote a certain way. That's what we're anti against. The, his the history is true there. No one will deny the history. The Conservative Party has apologised for the history, and whether you take that or not is completely uh, for, for you to decide. However, to then continue to ask people to live their lives based on something that happened five years ago, or an experience that is not theirs, because people in these groups don't all share the same experience. They don't all respond the same way to the elders. Because I've, I've seen some gay people in the Conservative Party who weren't in favour of LGBT marriage, and I'm not saying that just because you've asked me the question. You know, people have different opinions in these groups. We're not just blocks that say, you didn't vote for this, so therefore we're anti-you. We come to rational opinions the same way white people, the same way straight people, the same way everyone else is allowed to come to rational opinions. I just think it's really cheap for people on the left to be saying, well, actually, we're going to target you and say, you need to do this a certain way because you're in this block. And that's what I'm really, really vehemently against. I think you've really sort of misrepresents what I've said. One, I've said if people agree with these values, they're not bound by race, or etc., just to vote something if they've got those values. But then you went on to but say I did, I did reference a lot of modern-day examples that are going right now, and the idea was if that the mainstream right-wing parties aren't willing to afford respect towards minorities. Is that not a how, barrier? How do, they, how do they disrespect? Is that not a barrier Isn't for these I mean, people? you're talking about the Labour Party is the one that just splintered because people said within their own ranks there's racism and anti-Semitism. So it seems so strange to me that you're talking about the Tory party when this is currently a current event that's going on right now is that the Labour Party is having people that are denounce. to cause their own party, to, to start their own party because of the racism and anti-Semitism. So I'm just trying to understand how you reconcile that, how you can ask this question and miss this scandal. Well, you, you can have an anti-Semitism problem in Labour and still have a huge problem with gay people and black people in the Conservative Party. They're not exclusory no, things. No, they they can both exist in the up. same spectrum, and, you're, and, here's the thing, and they're both legitimate problems that, that have to be tackled. But you're making that up. There's, you, you, you know that the Conservatives in this nation don't have a problem with black people. You're, and, and even when you say they use some example of some, some scandal where someone said an N-word, some idea that you're going to use what one person did to describe an entire party is completely insane. Completely, and you know it's insane. You know it's insane. No. Recently, it is. If one person has a scandal and you're going to use that to describe the entire party, that's completely insane. To me, to me, I'm talking about. You said there was an N-word scandal. I'm not talking about what you're talking about. Would say the same-sex marriage would be. It's way bigger. I don't. You keep talking about that, but it's way bigger. There are people in America on both sides of the aisle that have an issue of whether or not it should even be a government issue or whether it should be sent back down to the church, right? So that's you're you're kind of trying to steamroll everything into one, and it's different. But what I take great issue with is that you start here and you talk about the history, the history, the history, and this is one of those things that when the argument is lost, you have to pull back 30, 40, 50, 60 years to find racism. I think we all know that society as a whole used to be pretty racist in America. We know that society, there were societies used to be racist here, here as well. We have to get over that. We're no longer living, America is not a racist society, the UK is not a racist society. And the only people that demand that it is and want to keep going backwards are people that want to control black people emotionally. I'm not afraid walking down the street seeing a white man in the UK, okay? And I don't need you to be afraid for me. The conservatives aren't racist, okay? And, and I think that if there's any indication of racism that I'm seeing in terms of the UK, it's coming from the Labour Party. Yeah. And, 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 and also, just, 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 just to take you up on the same-sex marriage issue, because you've met, you mentioned this like five or six times now. Okay, the, the same-sex marriage issue in the UK was a very.